Hey Collective, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be a pick a card on what do your spirit guides want you to know right now? What message do your spirit guides have for you? Um, before I get into any of that, I would like to give a strong thank you to all of you for all of the likes, the comments, the shares, the donations, the booking or reading as well, and for being patient with me. All of it is so greatly appreciated. Thank you all so much. And I would like to give a shout out as well to my members, the Cosmic VIP. Thank you so much for being a part of the members only. It is very much so appreciated. I love the vibe that we can create over there. Um, if you are interested in becoming a member, you can definitely hit that join button down below and become a part of the Cosmic VIP. But let's go ahead and get into today's reading. For so pawn number one, we have Kali Ma with Howlite here. Okay, this is pawn number one. Pawn number two is going to be Sanit Kumara, Sanat Kumara with Green Bandit Onyx here. This is pawn number two. All right, pawn number three is going to be Lady Nada, as well as this Amazonite piece. I've been saying piece recently. I mean, you know, it's a crystal. <laughs> this Amazonite crystal for pawn number three. All right. And pound number four will be Gaia here, as well as this African turquoise. Okay, this is pound number four. So, of course, timestamps as well as information for personal readings will be in the description box. Um, timestamps can either be here on the screen, so or in the description box you can definitely choose more than one if you are drawn to more than one here and i will see you at your reading or readings dear beautiful souls hey pawn number one if you have chosen this kali ma card or this how light piece here then this will be your reading for what does or what do your spirit guys want you to know right now what messages do they have for you so before i even started your reading i was already getting messages <laughs> which is is it it's usual you know this happens all the time um i also have channeled messages that i'm gonna read off okay so there was a nervous energy that i was getting <laughs> it just maybe some of you are nervous about something okay this is what i'm getting from some of your spirit guys here um some of you are genuinely working with kalima as well i can definitely feel her energy is present okay um there's emphasis on gold as well the card itself says d divine severance like look at me i'm stuttering my words like i feel these energies and i don't even know where it's coming from <sighs> okay <clears throat> it says divine severance cut the cords to dramas fears and limitations here kalima is a very strong divine warrior here okay divine spirit is what i'm hearing divine mother <laughs> okay but for those of you that have chosen this pile um i'm being drawn to 14 15 there's an increasing energy here as well some of you are being called to cut the cords to certain dramas and false experiences or false evidences appearing real and certain limitations within your energy you're supposed to not well it's interesting i'm hearing you're supposed to cut the cords but you know we all have free will so that's another energy that i'm hearing
there's an energy here of like the guys want you to I'm hearing be self-confident within yourself have more confidence within yourself for something here I'm also hearing branch out so you may be asked to step into different avenues of something here within your energy but all in all truthfully for those of you here within pile number one you have beautiful energy okay like you yourself have beautiful energy and i feel like your spirit guys are wanting you to i'm hearing bless yourself in some type of way some of you have just recently got some type of new necklace here and a lot of you are also rocking so hard with your ancestors is what i'm hearing as well or even your spirit guides it's like you have so much protection around you even within those energies like they do not play about you okay your guys your ancestors like <laughs> i'm hearing that some of them get transcended about this plane of existence because of your energy but that's only just it's just what i'm getting here okay some of you also have this glimmer within your eyes, almost as if you're seeing something very beautiful for the first time here. Or something is just <clears throat> awestruck about you here that even catches other people's eye as well. You may even have seen some of your um, spirit guides within your dreams, is what I'm hearing. For you here, pile number one. So, I actually want to pull a card before I go into the channel messages here for you. You may even feel called to work with Howlite. It's a very calming stone, is what I'm getting. Very calming. Huh. I, you know, I was getting this energy. Something about um your voice, the way you speak. Like you, why well, am I hearing you speak existence into certain people's lives here? It's almost as if without your word, um, something is not valid. Or I'm also hearing you have a strong way with your words as well. This is what your spirit guys want you to know right now. Divine severance here. I'm also hearing like divine reverence. Hmm. But your heck of magic is awakening. The breath is the first form of magic, is what this card says here. Yeah, it's, I'm really hearing like when you speak, you speak. As the as if like as the divine, like you are the divine is what I'm hearing. This is what your spirit guys want you to know. divinity flows through your words divinity flows through your energy your veins there's just significance on your energy and how the spirit guys are saying cut the cords to certain dramas here limitations things that are limiting your energy but i want to get one one card from here spirit please on what do pound number one's spirit guys want them to know right now okay i'm feeling cause look at this you can you can you make it up you are connected to divine energies very high vibrational very high vibrational <laughs> meditate for answers journaling is advised here okay one card one card spirit and then I'm going to look into the channel messages for you that I have written down. It's just one card. It's two. I'll take both of them. We have five energy, fate, perfect timing, divine timing, okay, balance, conflict, change, fast and quick change. Okay, so you may even be asked to by your spirit guides to make some type of fast and quick change out of a conflicting energy. Look at this. Energy is on high. I mean, I feel it. <laughs> Be sure to grid and pray over all things here. 
Okay, we'll leave it at that. Bottom of the deck, the wisdom you have enlightens others. Become who you are. That's that confident energy, that confidence within yourself here. So let's see. What is this? All right, looking at the moon may be significant as well. Working with the moon as well, pawn number one. But let's see. What do we have here? Pawn number one. Um, clouds may be significant for you. You may have been cloud gazing. There's literally a bird chirping outside of the window here. Like, what? You may be like, a, why am I hearing like a um, bird whisperer? You may literally like, you know, speak with birds. Something about that may be significant. Um, three flames. Okay, you may have been working candle magic here or some form of magic work. Um, summoning may be significant. Protecting your energy here. I was also drawn to a turkey or a rooster or something about a, a morning call. Maybe you're being called to do something <clears throat> in the rising. Um, it's currently 2-2-2 two, two, two right now. Let's see if, oh, well, you know, 1422, but it says deep breath. You got this. Okay. I feel like that may be significant for you as well. Mm-hmm. 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 Um, you may even be learning new languages here. Hmm. Something is also being given to you on a silver platter. These are all channeled messages here. Something about innovate innovation. You being innovated. Flowers may be significant here as well. Um, a water slide. Excuse me. Um, something about where you are right now. Um, on the planet, in the plane of existence. Something about that is also significant. The solar eclipse may have been significant as well, or any solar eclipse energy. I'm also hearing revolution, re-evolution, revolutionized. Something's being revolutionized here. Uh, it actually says the solar eclipse sent you some energy for a project. So, <laughs> this is a timeless reading, but some solar eclipse energy has sent you some energy. <laughs> for a project here the sun and the moon could also be significant we already said look at the moon so maybe looking at both the sun and the moon also i heard lord krishna which could be significant hinduism could also be something that's significant for you um your energy is very sovereign here god like you are on a roll okay your god like energy is on a roll work with jupiter here if not already Something about your 10th house energy, looking into that here within your natal chart. Something about Vulcan. Like, it was just energy that I had come across that said something about there was a planet closer to the sun than Mercury, and it was called Vulcan. V-U-L-C-A-N, which may be significant for someone here. There's this energy of, like, you're ever so getting closer to the sun, is what I'm getting. Ever so closer to source, um... Your vibration is heightening here as well. Blue, gold, and silver. Silver <laughs> could be significant colors for you that you may even want to work with here. Blue, gold, and silver. Um, two, two, four as an angel number. Maybe no way, dude. It's literally two, two, four right now. <laughs> it's two, two, four on the clock. Like I want to show it again. Four. Oh, it just changed. But like literally two, two, four. Crazy crazy i mean that's significant i'm gonna look it up as an angel number let us see two two four angel number um two two four angel number means to work hard towards success okay so i'm getting this energy that you want to be successful and this is something that you're working towards is success your angels, your guides, your spirit guides, your ancestors are guiding you on the right life path. But it's up to you to stay on course. In fact, you are the one who is in control of where life takes you. And your ascended masters are here to help you make good decisions. So that may be significant 
for you here, poem number one. Um, something about correlation, realignment, as well as getting back on track. So maybe even you cutting the cords to something here, certain dramas, certain maybe lower vibrational energies, you know, from your perspective would allow you to get back on track. There's also something about shingles here, um, as well as wind chimes. And that's all for channel messages. You may be learning a new language here as well. Yeah. Bilingual. That's more emphasis on like your heck of magic. Like you're awakening your throat chakra here, enabling you to utilize that energy better for yourself. I'm also being drawn to life path number five, life path number three, life path number 11 as well. Of course, life path number two, life path number four. Something about those energies are significant. Even your life path in general, you know, like your, your angels are guiding you on your right life path here. One that best suits you. And maybe this energy can really benefit you here, cutting the cords to certain dramas here or limitations. So now that we've got that, I definitely want to pull some cards for you. Interesting. There is something about, I'm hearing organs. Lungs may be significant as well. Getting fresh air is what I'm hearing. Be kind to your body is also something that I'm hearing. Um, uh, let's get some cards for you, okay? To see what it is that your spirit guys want you to know here. For pound number one. What do their spirit guys want them to know right now? Let's go here. And I'm definitely hearing this as well. Okay, um, where am I going to sit this at? I'll sit it here. I'm really trying to make sure that um, I leave each pile up to like 30 minutes. Makes it easier for editing for me, but it's all right. I'll be perfectly fine with whatever. Something about how the wind can um, help cleanse your energy if this is something that you were wanting to do i'm also hearing that um your mind is connected to the universe why am i being drawn to another deck lord okay thank you spirit what messages or what does pile number one spirit guys want them to know right now overcome fear and i mean it's here it says cut the course to dramas fears and limitations and now we have overcome fear so you may be called to like i don't know take a leap of faith on something because right now is the perfect time for something here a perfect time for some type of change a revolution within your energy maybe there's something that you want to be very passionate about here as well or you are passionate about something let's see i want to get like two more cards from here mm, maybe one one more card what does pawn number one's spirit guides want them to know right now spirit your energy is in balance in some sense, though, and it's just like you're being asked to overcome fear, cut the course to fear these false experiences appearing real, almost as if there's illusionary work at play here within your energy. Mm, look at this. Maybe, I don't know why I'm hearing this energy. There may even be <clears throat> emphasis on a certain energy around some of you here in pawn number one that's making you feel as though you can't go towards what it is that you want that's what i'm getting with this finding love in reverse energy and like i'm being called to keep it this way here like i feel like in some type of way there's an intentional energy and i'm getting confirmation here there's an intentional energy here almost not wanting you to you know find the right way be on the right path here healing energy being by a tree could be very significant for you <laughs> me and the members we had went to a forest 
it was a vibe it was a vibe it was a vibe but going to a forest may really be significant for you or even just going out in nature this could also i'm hearing break some type of hex on your energy or release some type of baggage or weight is what i'm hearing this is for someone here okay this may not resonate with everyone so please take what resonates here pile number one i did just say one card and it did come through but why am i shuffling it just looked like one more card can fit oh see <laughs> what do your spirit guys want you to know right now pile number one we have safe travel safe travel here Something about the number 380 may be significant, or 38, you may be 38 here. I'm also hearing 38 states. Some of you have traveled or want to travel to 38 states. There is emphasis here on like <clears throat> going with the flow is what I'm hearing. Look at this. This is at the bottom of the deck, banish the curse. That's what I was saying, like going outside or just um, maybe even traveling to some form of um, power spot is what I'm hearing. A place that's um, very abundant within energy. Going to this place and then relishing within its energy. This place is in nature is what I'm getting. This is so interesting. What do your spirit guys want you to know here? Some of you are on the journey to finding love, maybe even within yourself or something here as well. Like some type of project is what I'm getting. It's like something doesn't, <clears throat> there's an energy. See, it even doesn't want me to say these names. Um, you are very powerful is what I'm hearing. Okay. It's like you have the divine, your ancestors, your guys with you. Be mindful. You have mindfulness here. Be mindful of um, the defense energy that you have around you. Like you are protected here. Okay. Naturally, you have some form of divine light always around you here. But it's like you're being asked to be. Or you're going to be placed in the spot where you can truly undergo some form of healing process within your energy pile number one some of you here one more <laughs> one more thank you spirit. defense it came back out be mindful of your defense be mindful of your protection your defenses it may even be time for you to increase that energy it is two three four on the clock right now you know two three four five so it really does give a big energy that may even be a big um angel number for you two three four five we even have financial security at the bottom of the deck your finances are going to be secure is also something that your spirit guys want you to know right now understand this energy that your finances will be okay you have abundance coming in from certain stars is what i'm hearing that you are connected to in the galaxy here Oh, this is good energy. Some of y'all about to ball out too. That's what I'm here. Look, look, can you make it up? We have protection here at the bottom of the day. It's so much energy. So that defense, financial security, as well as protection. Letting you know that you set. <laughs> I don't know why I'm here. Like you good for the summer. You good for the winter. You know, whatever season this reading is coming to you in. You know, you good. Let's get some more information. Okay, 21 minutes. We're working with it. We're working with it. Let's see. What is it that your spirit guides? Unplug from mass consciousness. Maybe within the masses here, there's drama, there's fears or limitations within that energy. 
and you have been blessed with some form of key of light here. Archangel Michael could definitely be significant as well. Something about purple cookies. What? Um, macaroons could also be significant. <laughs> a purple cookie. Maybe purple frosting. You know? Purple nails. Or even just the color purple seems to be significant. Alright. Um, what does pawn number one's spirit guys want them to know? Key of light. Came right back out. The energy of you... This is the Archangel Michael energy. You're being literally given the key to open up many doors within your life right now. Okay. The downloads that you are receiving here are very abundant. Or this is something that your spirit guides are going to soon send you. The sooner that you cut the course to these dramas or false experiences appearing real. Certain limitations within your energy. Something about you are meant to be free. You are meant to be who you want to be. You know. You can do what it is that you want to do here within your life, within your reality. Um, we have the pink rose of Lady Nada. Isn't that crazy? So, Paul number three may be significant for you. Very significant. I mean, here's a rainbow here as well. Miracle energy is what I'm hearing. Mm, I'm hearing witnessing a miracle. Oh, this is good energy. Some of you may genuinely witness a miracle soon, okay? It's like you've been manifesting this as well. Hmm. Allow this miracle to do its work, you know? Like, don't have too many expectations on this miracle because this is how this miracle can really be a miracle when it's unexpected, you know? When it just, woo, pop up, you know? But it's perfect timing here, divine timing for some type of change here, okay? Don't even... I'm hearing don't even try to articulate how this miracle will come in, you know, um, just flow is what I'm hearing. Definitely just flow. So let's see. Let's get one more from here. All right. I had a feeling. I genuinely had a feeling. I want to shuffle some more. It might really want to come out. We have Ascension, the Rainbow Bridge here as well. Let's shuffle because I did just talk about it. We also have divine talents and wisdom of the divine feminine. Wow. Didn't we see um, your wisdom enlightens others? Be who you are. I hope that came through. Because that's what those energies gave. Like You're very in connection with your own divine feminine energies. Um, for my masculines and my feminines here watching. And Paul, number one, your spirit guides want you to know um, your wisdom definitely enlightens others here. OK, your divine talents, your divine abilities, talent. I said talents twice. <laughs> oh, my God. It's like you're, you're a, I don't want to say a light worker, but definitely that energy could definitely resonate with you here. You're a divine worker, divine warrior, you know. Divine blessings have been showering over your life or they will here. What do we have, Spirit? Master healing. This is a process that you are also soon to undergo, if not already undergoing right now. Pound number one, this is what your spirit guys want you to know. Wow. You may even genuinely want to get more information, as in reading more books, maybe about the things that you are interested in here, pound number one. This could really benefit your energy now. We also have seventh ray of ritual, order, and ceremony. I'm getting confirmation here that some of you are asking for more order within your life, you know, um, not to even say religion or things of that nature, but ritual is here. So I'm getting this energy of you bringing in or calling in more protection within your energy, more healing, maybe even through candle work, because we did get in your channel messages, three flames and that energy, you know. So I feel like that may be significant for you. And we got that energy out here. Some of you also are in connection with like, I'm hearing pocket dimension. It's this energy of like your own world in the spirit to where it's like, maybe it may even just be a world that you traverse in your dreams. Something about that may even be significant, but your dreams are, genuinely a workspace for you is what i'm getting like you 
collect so much knowledge and information from your dreams that this is what is calling in some type of divine energy for you okay that's for someone or quite a few of you here okay we didn't even get any tarot shall we get that we shall i'm gonna get some of this orion's animals tarot king of cups may be significant i'm being drawn to water sign energy cancer scorpio pisces which may be significant for you very intuitive energies though i'm hearing very um mature very emotionally balanced very in connection with your emotions what messages do your spirit guys want you to know right now we have page of pentacles i'm hearing investing or more so like being very dedicated to something here okay very interested in something maybe some form of new knowledge that is being given to you from your spirit guides and i did say something about flowers here in your channel messages and here we have a flower we also have i believe this is a cricket could even be a grasshopper i'm also hearing that your next steps are going to be like you're going to land you know like you're you may even be walking blindly in an essence to where you don't know if your next step is going to have short footing um something about it is okay this is what your spirit guys want you to know maybe your next business venture or your next um creative endeavor will produce strong flowers for you is what i'm hearing we have the star at the bottom of the deck and jellyfish vibes you know but this is very beautiful very healing something about a pact like you've made a pact with some type of spirit guide here or maybe even you've made you're cooperating with some type of spirits here as well High vibrational spirits is what I'm hearing. Let's see though. I'm going to put this here. Queen of Pentacles. There's that gold again. Is what I'm hearing. Something about your third eye. Nurturing your third eye. Nurturing your intuitive messages that you receive. On the split we have the Ace of Cups. <laughs> nurturing yourself until you overflow. And I mean, this energy goes into every other aspect within your life here. The more you show yourself love. Let's see. Aquarius energy may even be significant for you. Pile number one. There's an essence here as well of a prophecy coming to life or um, something that you've written down coming to life. So this could even be like genuinely a manifestation here. What messages do your spirit guides want you to know right now? We have the eight of swords okay okay some of you as well may even feel this energy of um hmm. yeah definitely okay fears definitely are coming through false experiences appearing real um feeling i'm hearing stuck <clears throat> as well as trapped within maybe even a certain type of energy this is healing for you okay you are healing past this energy let's get some more energies on that can we get some energies on this eight of swords here spirit thank you we have these six of swords look something about this energy like you are in transition right now like you are transitionally healing from this feeling stuck within the mind not feeling as though that you can progress forward maybe even due to certain fears or limitations this is shifting up for you okay even now as um the energy is on high and you are praying for certain things here i'm also hearing that um you are literally eliminating and i mean eliminating certain fears and like things of that nature that aren't allowing you to move forward some of you are genuinely working very well within this energy. Let's see, bottom of the deck, five of swords energy. Hmm, literally walking away from people here, maybe within lower vibrations. Envy is what I'm hearing. We have temperance, patience, more healing vibes, enlightening here. Earth angel energy cancer energy again because this crab 
Some of you are genuinely connected with water energy. We have Ace of Wands as well. New passionate beginnings are definitely happening within your energy. And this is something that your spirit guides want you to know. I'm, I'm hearing be ready. Get prepared because it's like you're moving forward here with this Ace of Wands energy. I'm hearing that you are going to be spreading your wings. Like, look at this energy. It was, it's come out of this molting energy, you know, this dragonfly here. Rain may be significant for you as well. Something about that. Like, I'm just hearing rain. It was raining earlier, but, hmm. I'm hearing emotions on high as well. Let's put this up. <laughs> Let's go here and see what your spirit guys want you to know. Oh. Okay, I just saw 3303 on the time stamp. So 333 energy may be significant for you. Something about a big event to happen for you here soon, pile number one, okay? A very big surprising moment for you. Can we get a message here? What do your spirit guides want you to know, pile number one? Did I say something about clouds too in your channel message? And here we have clouds. Maybe even being outside. Oh my God. Oh, this is so interesting. Um, something about asterisms or asterized light. Like I'm seeing like this energy here and then this light is asterized. And then we have this here as well. Hmm. Something about like light in general. Some of you, your light is becoming more prominent here. What is it that your spirit guides want you to know? Look at this. And that's like I was saying, you're blessed with the divine light. Almost like divine inheritance is what I'm hearing as well. Blessing beyond the soul path. Card number three. As I said, I just saw three, three, three. Honor all life. Exchange of joy without karma or sacrifice. So this is something that's literally happening within your energy. You are transitioning into moving towards or have already come into this energy of a blessing here. Okay. You are experiencing this energy, soon to experience this energy, maybe even after this healing occurs. Serapis Bay may even be very significant as well. The white flame. Bottom of the deck. Look, did I say something about Earth Angel because of this temperance energy? Card number four, kindness. You have a way with kindness here as well as what I'm hearing. Sensitivity is strength here. Okay, a lot of you are also very empathic. Higher perspective divine abilities like you can't I, it, it. <laughs> and i'm looking at this card here it says retune to your truth here and i know that's i believe that's the surrender card so surrendering seems to be very significant here for you surrendering to maybe even some type of change that's happening here you releasing misaligned energies as well it looks like this individual is working with the magic that's coming from this unicorn's um horn so that may even be something that you would like to tap into here. You may even have a unicorn as a spirit animal to where you can genuinely work with the magic that comes from its horn. <laughs> I don't know, but there's definitely a waterfall energy here. And you're really an earth angel. You're very kind hearted. But I mean, <laughs> this is probably why you also have so much protection, even within it, your ancestors energy even your spirit guides but also <laughs> some of you that have chosen this pile y'all have a way with words y'all are like y'all fight for what's right for you i mean you're very strong will i want to get like a final message here and then i'll go ahead and let you go um let's see what it is that your spirit guides want you to know I want to get some good energy. Let's go into this. Astrology is definitely significant for you. You may some be someone that studies astrology or would like to get into astrology. Maybe it has been something that has called your interest recently. Your spirit guides are like, tap in. <laughs> go ahead and study the stars, you know. I feel like there's so many keys of wisdom within that energy, even within 
pile number one there's many keys of wisdom within your energy right now that i feel as though your spirit guides also want to share with others but i'm hearing wow the right people eighth house energy endings and beginnings so there's definitely an ending or a beginning really both happening within your energy um pharaoh energy may also be significant that's where this sovereign energy is coming from here king queen like energy lord here empress emperor bottom of the deck look at this you it, 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 you have blessings and blessing here grand trine energy you are a blessing to the world pile number one and you're going to be experiencing blessings here genuinely some of you have doubts within this energy because we have the i think here and it made me think like i think blessings or i think i'm going to get blessings now you have to know this energy <laughs> You have to know that you, you're going to get blessings here after maybe even cutting the cords from something or putting yourself in a certain energy. You have to know for yourself that this is my soul path here. This is me receiving the blessings on my soul path, you know, from me ending this energy and beginning this new journey for myself. It definitely feels like a healing journey here as well. Okay, finding love within oneself. Gemini energy could even be significant. You may even be um, undergoing or have a wind, air. Wow, why did I say wind? An air trine going on within your chart right now. Maybe even a fire trine, a water trine, or an earth trine. Okay, all the trines. But that may be significant. I know just recently when looking at my natal chart, um, I had a fire trine maybe last week. Yeah, that was interesting. It was very fiery. Okay. <laughs> but that's the energy here. It's definitely the energy. I want to get one more. Here, here, look, we have more air. More air energy with Libra. I balance. Relationship energy may really be significant here, those that you connect with. Can I get one more card here as a final message for pile number one for what it is that the spirit guys want them to know? Spirit. Let us see, let us see. There she is. And we have Grand Cross. Wow, so many grand energies, right? And with the Grand Cross energy, it's almost like... I love it. I really do. This is character development. Okay, this is... Four squares. Okay, my nose is itching. This is four... A Grand Cross is four squares within a chart. Okay, um, four squares between four different planets as well as two oppositions okay and that's a grand cross grand square here look didn't i say bottom of the deck solar eclipse revolution you can't make this energy up i said something about this in the beginning of your reading you're revolutionizing your energy this grand cross energy is very dense very um mind opening things shift in and out within this energy so often okay it's kind of very difficult okay but it's very character development like you genuinely are a different person after this energy whatever this may be this may even be the blessing here for you like just continue to move forward is what i'm hearing on this healing journey that you are undergoing right now you may even genuinely find an interest within skulls here because they are coming through quite often pile number one and that solar eclipse recently really got you <laughs> in a good way though like in a real good way like you your energies were i'm not gonna say affected but um blessed with an energy here a certain vibration and it's very beautiful okay and that's really what i'm getting you may even have your gemini in the eighth house is what i'm getting as well maybe even in the fifth house but all in all here look at this you're about to get some money too <laughs> that's just something that i'm hearing this is 46 to 47 as well so progressive energies here and i believe i said something about 14 15 here as well your mind is awakening very intuitive energies but pile number one i'm gonna go ahead and leave it at that i believe 
that that is all that we have for you for what do your spirit guys want you to know right now if you enjoy be sure to oh look we have 32 to 33 as well very progressive yeah what's this 26 all right but um we do not even have 333 on the board like what <laughs> if you enjoyed be sure to give a video a like comment share um subscribe if this will call to i love you dearly you're very much so protected um and i will see you around deuce hey pile number two if you have chosen this sanat kumara or this green bandit onyx here then this will be your reading for what do your spirit guides want you to know right now what messages do they have for you here and pile number two you have a big anointing over your energy here okay very um spiritually blessed very um spiritually in tune very okay it doesn't have to just be spiritual but you're just in tune with the world around you here okay um you are being given light here okay let me tell you about this card okay the card says open channel um signs codes downloads and sacred information all of this is coming in towards you here and this is what your spirit guys want you to know okay um open your intuition here as well open your mind um be in a flow state to where you can see what's coming in okay this is what i'm getting from your spirit guys here and i'm definitely being drawn to a transformation within your energy as in you may be looking at others differently here from certain information that you have come across here um changes the natural order of things here don't be afraid of the unknown that's just a certain thing that i'm being drawn to let you know i do have channeled messages um written down that i'm definitely going to get into as well for you but let's connect with the energy here some of you have a very beautiful smile like your guys are here to let you know that your smile is worth more than a million dollars okay like <laughs> you can make money off of your smile oh, number two <laughs> um but the signs and the information that's being given to you shown to you here is very important okay this is very sacred information here so you may even feel called to maybe be more selective with the individuals that you share your information with here um your downloads um the signs that maybe you have been receiving here i know sometimes that can be a little bit i'm not going to say hard but keeping things to yourself once you want others to feel so connected within the same energy you know we all have free will do what you want to do but this is just something that's coming through you also definitely are an open channel for the certain um sacred information here okay just a sacred light about yourself as well the colors green gold pink orange may even really be significant um you have this vibration emitting off of you as well these could even be your aura colors is what i'm getting very abundantly in tune like you're in tune with the vibration of abundance i'm also hearing gratitude unconditional love sensuality here willpower very beautiful i'm hearing blessings as well the spirit guys told me to say that here blessings hmm some of you also are i'm hearing like writers or you have a typewriter something about that is significant i'm hearing 1979 something about that year may be significant as well i'm hearing june 1st march 11th august 9th i don't know something about these dates may be very significant for you okay what, what? these birds be sounding like they write in the house but they just be right outside the window <laughs> They just be right outside the window okay interesting i'm getting this energy that um your spirit guys are genuinely so close to you pile number two like they're like in your ear like they love being 
next to you. They love being within your energy. They trust you. Something about your spirit guides trust you. Maybe with this sacred information here. Okay. Soon, a lot of you will be receiving, again, downloads, signs, information that is very sacred. Um, I guess do with this information as you will, but the spirit guides are saying that it's coming in. <laughs> okay, so let's look into your channel messages. I actually want to pull a card from here just because I felt called to. I'm going to do it for every pile as well. Just one card, please, spirit. Just one card. Just one card. Let us see, let us see, let us see what we can get here. One card, Spirit. <laughs> they gave, like, multiple. Okay, no, no, no. Not even gonna look at them because they might swift up the energy. Let's see. Oh, all right, all right. There's just a lot of energies that your Spirit guys wants to let you know about. And I'm only wanting one. Okay, we got completion <laughs> has been attained. All the marks are all the marks are checked. Congrats. You've done something here and completed something. Pile number two. Maybe even in the spirit realm here as well. But there's congratulatory energy here. This could even be why these energies are coming in. I'm actually drawn to what this says from the book as well, just a little. There's certain prophecies happening within your energy as well that are very real and they affect your surroundings here. You may even be called to, um, it says smoke something, but this could be smudging here, cleansing something, environmental cleanse, okay? Um, symbol, symbols and numbers are important at this time as well. You also have ancient Egyptian ancestors here within this reading. Great connections and available links to the gods and goddesses of Kemet. The Ankh will protect us all. So you may be even someone that genuinely works within um, Kemetic energies. You know, like Egyptian ties are within you here. You work with those type of haptics. You know, that, you know, that energy, you know, I feel like that may be significant here. It says be a light for those that have lost sight of their own as well. This is something that your spirit guides want you to know here. Oh, no way. Look, so I went like this. And then it says blue flame and great awakenings growing into your higher self. So these downloads are very big for even just you. Okay. So this could even be why this energy seems to be very sacred because it's for you here. Okay. You're undergoing great awakenings as well. So I'm going to put all of these up because, you know, I ask for don't deny yourself of the things you know you deserve. I was kind of getting that energy as well. Isn't that crazy? It was an energy of the spirit guys see that you may even want a particular thing, maybe even just one thing, maybe or just two things. But they say that you're worth so much more is what I'm getting. Like, that's what I got with just this energy. Like, you're worth so much pound number two to where maybe even the things that you want you're like lowballing yourself a little bit is what i'm getting as well okay that may resonate with someone um the number three could also be significant here okay energy cannot be hidden only masked as something different so something may be hidden from you right now that you're like picking up energetically mind body and soul communication maybe even someone wants to communicate with you here as well this could also be sanat kamara here let's put these up ground yourself okay this could be very significant when it comes to the information being transmitted through you here okay as you are this open channel for the divine grounding your energy or grounding yourself may really be significant interesting how we're keeping those two um let's see let's leave it at that let's look at your <coughs> channel messages here pile number two that's so crazy <laughs> the first message for your channel message is it says you made it okay you made it someone is grateful you exist here pile number two take five seconds to thank your guides and ancestors something about a bandana is significant we have success here for you banana split you may have had a banana split or you're being called to get one here you may not even like bananas it's kind of something that i'm hearing 
um something about bam like something is coming in like in your face you weren't expecting this energy so something is going to come in very unexpectedly and it's going to really be in your face um there's also emphasis on the you matter hoodie i believe this hoodie is by demetrius herman here meech okay something about that maybe significant you may have one of these hoodies um da, 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 these are all your messages here so we can kind of show yeah we have f f was f was i'm gonna look that up i believe it's a rune yeah it is so f was the rune may be significant it's a m yeah um, horses may even be significant. Animals. It says Ehwas means horse and it's considered progress in the spiritual world. Okay. Runes may be significant for you. Like you may be getting interest in runes. Wait, I believe that's a message for another pyro. It is. Yeah. Pile number four may be significant for you. Okay. Pile number two. That one may have caught your attention. I would definitely go ahead and check that out. Um, F was, I hope I'm saying it correct, consists of two elements which should embody not only loyalty, but rather the existing trust between horse and rider. It also prophesizes, then I'll say something about prophecies within your energy, a harmonious cooperation of two forces that want to achieve the same goal. So, with this open channel energy, with this sacred information and things coming into your energy, pile number two you are in cooperation with source the divine your spirit guys this is the two forces here wanting to achieve the same goal and you are the other force okay so it's you and your spirit guides you and your higher self is also something that i'm hearing um there's a harmonious energy coming through here for you okay there's congratulatory energy let me look because we have a wedding cake here that's so crazy like literally wedding cake <laughs> animals um coding here may be significant some of you may be coders the matrix um some roses come with thorns okay so that may be significant some of you genuinely come with a little bit of spice on your palette you know um vanishing right before your eyes that's so interesting didn't i say something was going to come in and be like bam right in front of your eyes now we, now we have vanishing right before your eyes so something may come and go very quickly within your energy this may have already happened. Um, also have here, some of you may have um, been losing your keys or you're reading, reading, you're listening to this and your keys are lost or um, misplaced here. I'm hearing look between the couches, check the garage, the patio here as well. Um, something about renovations, checking for imperfections. You are overthinking it you look amazing here or it looks amazing this is what i have here for channel messages bowling may be significant as well you may have been bowling something about a strike as well like you're hitting all marks like this is that energy completion has been attained all of the marks are checked congrats um i don't think ever in bowling i've gotten a full set of strikes like that's literally something that i want to do <laughs> like that's this year or like you know whenever <laughs> i'm really gonna tap into bowling so that i can get that that's like something i want to do but sober mondays may be significant as well that's literally a channel message here the mask or veil has been lifted on a certain energy okay for you pile number two so and it's funny because i believe i said something about energy cannot be hidden only masked as something different and then we have here the mask or veil has been lifted on a certain energy so some type of truth is coming to light where it was trying to be hidden within your energy um black may be a significant color for you or a shade something about your shadow as well um i have here black hole getting to the center of something this is your energy you are getting to the center of something maybe some truth here we have a hand fan maybe like this is what i was getting back i do not know what those were called but you know they spread out that may be significant or genuinely a motorized hand fan um 
I also have here open your hands and receive your manifestations. And that's interesting because even here I have more than one. So, you know, earlier when I was trying to get one card. And then they gave me a bunch. I feel like that's literally the energies of what your spirit guides are going to be doing for you. Instead of just giving you one manifestation, you're going to be receiving more than one. OK, open your hands to receive these energies. Um, And it's funny because <laughs> every time I say, um, right, I always think about this ohm energy. It makes me think about how I'm grounding my energy every time I say something, every time I say, um, after because it's really this energy of OHM, the sound of the universe, something about that may be significant for you. But that's all I have for channel messages for you. Call number two. Let's go ahead and get some cards for you to see what it is that your spirit guides want you to know. OK. And I'm trying to keep this reading 30 minutes. OK, it may be longer, but I'm really trying to keep it 30 minutes. Call number two. Um. Let's go here. Let's see what your spirit guides want you to know. I love this energy though. It's very beautiful. But I feel like some of these are. Because they are. Some of them are. I don't even feel like having to go through all of this. This may be significant though. They're all in different positions. I can't. I gotta fix it. Let's just go like this. I'm sorry that we gotta do this together. But it happens, you know. You're genuine. I love this energy. Some of you are being called to the plate, is what I'm hearing. Being called to some type of um, position, throne, energy. Maybe even to give a message. A lot of you are very authentic here, okay? Even within your own energies. This is something that your spirit guides want you to know right now. Did we see great flame? Great flame? Something about a great flame, a big flame. But I was getting this energy of the blue flame energy. Did we get that here? genuinely feels like I'm in like another dimension within your energy pile number two um let's see what messages your spirit guides have for you jump in here in dramadin energy confirmation your spirit guides want you to jump into something say yes to change maybe even saying yes to adventure here as well and drama could also be another one of these um divine forces um sacred forces giving you information here downloads and signs may also inner earth energy it says you'll survive this whatever energies that you're working through here we have new solutions and beginnings some of you also have this ability, divine talent, to connect with inner earth. And I mean, inner earth, like, <laughs> if you know, you know, I mean, it's just, it's just Lumerian energy as well is what I'm getting. Agarthian energy. I don't know why, but look, I'm hearing dinosaurs. Something about dinosaurs may be significant for you. There is a portal within your energy, though. Column number two. Okay. We also have, look at this, lost lands, soul memories, and gifts. You've done this before. You'll survive this. New solutions and beginnings. Say yes to change. You'll survive it. You've done this before, so this is nothing new to you. Whatever this energy is that you were about to embark on here. Look at this earth school, life lessons, soul growth, study, higher learning energy. You're going to be experiencing a new form of learning is what I'm hearing. Paul number two. I'm also hearing that you have a very beautiful teacher in spirit. Like your guides are genuinely beautiful teachers for you and your energy. 
forge don't follow pave a new path be the leader you wish you had so this could also be something that your guys want you to attune to here is your own self-worth is what i'm hearing um your own leadership skills here your ability to pave a new path for yourself okay what's this card now the void stop and break interesting it says stop say yes to change all right great cosmic wound hmm. on the split empathic star seed energetic sovereignty look at this your energy is top tier okay you're absorbing something that's not yours so if you ever felt low or down anything of the sort go outside and ground yourself because this is other people's energy here okay and work with certain crystals that can help you protect your energy from that okay also certain stones that can help you better understand your own emotions is what i'm hearing pile number two like larry mar here um something about um what is that ethiopian opal that's a very beautiful one for connecting with your emotions also balancing your masculine and feminine energies mm -hmm. definitely beautiful crystals to work with here for your energy so let's see put this up um, i'm really curious about because it keeps speaking to me what does this say from the book? Sanat Kumara Sunat Kumara. You feel like maybe you're chanting here as well. Your chants are very powerful here. Um, pound number two. Mm, the number 130, maybe even 13. You're undergoing a big transformation here. And I spoke of that earlier. 130. Kumara, which means eternal youth, mm, is an advanced cosmic light being who is dedicated to helping the earth rise up toward the light. He is deeply passionate about supporting those on earth who feel called to fulfill their life's purpose and make a difference. This brilliant guardian of light has been acknowledged in many different traditions and even has a temple dedicated to him in Kyoto, Japan. So Japan may be very significant for you. Some of you are traveling to this energy. Um, some of you live here as well. Um, legend has it that he came from Venus. Okay. Ooh, so Venus may be significant for you as well. Pile number two. Some of you resonate with Venusian energy. You're very healing. Genuinely, your energy is very healing, pile number two. 6.5 million years ago is when he came from Venus. Like, wow. And is eternally 16 years old. So 16 could really be a significant number. Maybe even your age. I don't know how you'd be here. I mean, you can be 16. You know? Maybe you have children that are 16. But there's youth within your energy here, okay? Maybe you look 16 <laughs> file number two you look 16 your youth is amazing um due to the atmospheric differences between the two planets here okay was the reason why he was eternally 16 for 6.5 million years in the ascended master's teaching okay lord kumara is the regent of earth and of humanity the head of the spiritual hierarchy that governs spiritual guides and supports the earth's evolution much of the information about him states that he resides upon the etheric planes in shambhala the city of light hidden in the himalayas so you may even genuinely resonate with those energies as well sanat kumara is also the head of the Ven like i didn't even see that he's the head of the venusians like what and the twin flame of lady venus very beautiful energy that make it that may be significant for you okay um but your message here for what sana kumara wants you to know hearing high-pitched noises seeing flickers of light and having the sense that beings are visiting you in sleep or meditation are all signs that you are receiving downloads from heaven right now heaven you know a higher vibrational version of yourself higher dimensions whatever so you feel called to put it okay but you're receiving downloads from heaven right now you are an open channel to source codes and information that can help you understand how your life can be more aligned to the energy of purpose and meaning 
if you are feeling highly psychic or intuitive or are feeling a particular message rising up from within this card is here to help you trust in what you are receiving and encourage you to follow through on the guidance whether you are experiencing more signs downloads or spiritual experiences than usual or it's an entirely new experience for you it's important to take some time in contemplation and meditation now signs are wondrous moments but it's also important to reflect on them for they can have crucial life affirming information that will support you on your path know that you are being guided and were born to be a light pile number two so big energy <laughs> you got good energy um this is what your spirit guys want you to know there's also like an activation happening for you pile number one may be significant this activation is helping you to grow and also to make necessary changes within your energy but let's go ahead and tap in let's go ahead and tap in because right now you're connecting with memories of yourself as well maybe even through this sacred information that's coming through for you maybe even as you are healing right now within this shambhala retreat as well you may have experienced this energy Let's see. I want to see what your spirit guides want you to know. Okay, we're going to go here. Get some tarot energies. I want to put them all here. How far are we? 25. 25, and we just talked with a little bit of cards. <laughs> it's definitely going to be longer than <laughs> It's definitely going to be longer than 30 minutes. Okay, let's see. What messages do your spirit guides want you to know right now? Call number two. First message. We have the seven of cups here. Hmm, I'm hearing don't let the... Uh, I'm spooked. I'm spooked. I felt... I, it seems like I saw this... I saw Sunat Kamara blink. I'm serious. It seems like I saw... <laughs> breathe. There may be illusions here. Okay. You may have your energy um, wanting to go in multiple places at once. Maybe you want to choose one thing out of all of these options that are available for you, but your guys are saying that you can get it all. Okay, something about that is, oh, you can get it all. Wheel of Fortune here. Very abundant energy once again. Page of Pentacles. You can take the time to study this energy you can take the time to um jump in here say yes to change here that's really the energy you can take the time to take the opportunities that are available to you here you know without being anxious or overthinking about a certain energy here sleepless nights take your time here okay maybe even going one thing at a time but say yes to all of these energies available to you because this is information this is code downloaded energy yeah, pile number one is really significant for some of you here, not all of you. I can definitely feel this pharaoh energy as well. Some of you are really coming into your truth through more knowledge. Mm hmm. Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, and Leo energies may be significant here. Let's see what messages. Ooh. And this is going right over there with the completion has been attained here. What messages does pile number two need to know right now? Wow. The sun. And you saw how it went the flippy flip and then landed over here. The sun is within your energies. I'm hearing this is blessed days. The rays of the sun. Happiness. You may even be receiving messages from the sun here. Some form of sacred information that ultimately will shift your energies. Hmm. Knight of Wands here as well. Hmm. Both of these individuals are on horses here, so movement is significant. Okay. And I feel like we already said that. Was that in your channel messages? I believe it was. Yeah, it was. F wise. Look, animals, movement, horse energy, you know, the companionship between both of them wanting to achieve the same goal. And we did say something about youth like energy as well. So confirmation on that. Hmm. Even with this is like this is very. OK, I'm going to say very handsome. 
some of you are very handsome a lot of you are very beautiful understand that energy something about that is very significant for what your spirit guides want you to know like you can move forward while being confident within yourself here like having the confidence of the sun as well we have the five of swords here spirit guides we're gonna have to get some confirmation on that energy because i'm kind of getting this energy of like it's literally even looking that don't tell me it don't look like this it kind of looks like envy is here okay maybe even through something that you have recently done pile number two like maybe even because you've completed something recently you've decided to jump into something maybe this has other people's energy i don't know maybe they view you as like why do why do they have it all we have the fool here <laughs> it's like you've been taking leaps of faith towards things here and you've been getting blessed for that and you don't have any expectation of that energy more so you're just doing this because you want to better yourself we also have the two of cups with attraction energy is what i'm getting something about you finding love for yourself or for some of you there will be genuinely a um, connection coming in due to how much you love yourself so i want to get another confirmation card for this five of swords spirit why is the five of swords here for what they need to know i have the eight of pentacles and you see it kind of came in the reverse interesting some individuals i don't even want to like bring those energies up into a reading here pound number two but there are others that aren't working on things here aren't working on bettering themselves aren't working on manifesting the best that they can have you know um i'm also hearing that some individuals are just ignorant as well but you're in connection you're answering the calls being given to you look at you're answering the calls being given to you palm number two you're receiving sacred information maybe this is also why i got the energy of you having to be careful who you give certain information to because of this energy okay you're very in connection here you're doing things for the light you're doing things within the light is what i'm getting as well Look at this queen of pentacles energy as well. Very nurturing of your own self, of the things that you invest your time into. All right, let's scoot these over. And then I want to get some more information for you. Okay. Let's put this over here. And put these up too. you're telling me to go into this deck and let me get the other deck for you for what do your spirit guides want you to know let's go here okay got the two decks then after this i'm gonna definitely let you go because i don't want to make this like 40 minutes long i really don't <laughs> i genuinely love it here okay it's very beautiful energy the physical and the spiritual realm may be significant. I'm being drawn to a phoenix. Some of you are genuinely so close to taking that leap of faith forward into like jumping in and saying yes to something. You are like so close. And once you do it, you're going to be very happy here huh? when it comes to a certain energy because you're going to be connected with sacred information. Some of you genuinely um, are wanting to work with Senat Kumara here. So let's see. Oh, all right. We got a lot of cards. Creator Gateway Chakra, card number 13. Excuse me. I felt like I said 13 was significant because this was on page 130. All right. Uh, two cards fell to the floor. One. Okay. What do we have? The Divine Rising. Your energy is improving, increasing here. Pile number two. And this is like on divine timing. This is very beautiful. I'm hearing this is very lucky as well. We have 19 creation, the sun energy. This reminds me of a brain here. There's something about the information that you are receiving when it comes to sacred downloads and signs and codes. They're improving your um, brain's activity. Your nervous system is also awakening here. Your soul's energy. Wow, we have look at this regeneration like you're literally regenerating here as well 
that reminds me of this lost lands energy soul memories and gifts you've done this before it's like you're regenerating more of your inheritance as well with this energy and we have solar plexus chakra yeah i believe i said something about willpower here you connecting more with your inner strength here you know maybe to get something done within your energy this is something that your spirit guys want you to know i'm going to put these up also working on your solar plexus may be significant here um i'm hearing lemons could also be very beneficial for you putting maybe lemons in your water not all the time but something about that could be significant it is currently 333 three, three on the clock right now pile number two so you're genuinely coming into um an energy of blessings i'm also hearing an energy of receptivity attuning to some form of like i want to say abundant energy Ooh, ooh, no way the number 19 has come through many times we have synergy you're synergizing with delight here is something that your spirit guides want you to know as well we also have compassion here having compassion for yourself as you say yes to a certain change interesting this frequency of compassion supports your ability to stand by others without judgment and be the divine mediator between heaven and earth i believe i said something about heaven earlier saying that you are genuinely receiving downloads from heaven and now it's saying that you are the divine mediator between heaven and earth so this is why you're receiving these sacred downloads and messages because you're a divine mediator okay between heaven and earth spirit and matter so that unconditional love can flow from source through your heart and into the world so have compassion for yourself even when you are receiving these messages receiving these downloads here and with this synergy and delight it feels like you're literally connecting more with delightful things within your energy right now or even soon to come here as well like there will be genuinely a delighted energy this in <laughs> this frequency of synergy supports your allowance and acceptance of not so obvious never seen before combinations and unions that result in new ways of functioning so you may be doing something very new here with your own energy that's allowing you to embrace the unfamiliar so that the new yet exciting co-creations can give birth to a new reality so there's definitely new energies here okay that are going to be very delightful that can create an experience of intense joy and happiness within your energy okay and the more inner the more delight you feel within yourself the more delight you can invoke within others okay so that's another thing that's coming through for your energy in no way at the bottom of the deck it's literally solar plexus chakra this supports our sense of self your personal power and your willpower as well as your knowing of who you are and what your contribution is to the whole so this energy is all coming through okay even your creations because you're rising into this energy this is so beautiful look at this divine masculine up under that so pile number two i'm gonna go ahead and leave it at that i hope that you enjoy it be sure to give the video a like comment um share subscribe if you feel so called to i love you dearly um you're so much protected like very much so protected within these energies like you're undergoing big stuff okay and i will see you around all right hey paul number three if you have chosen this lady nada or this amazonite crystal here then this will be your reading for what do your spirit guides want you to know right now what messages do they have for you um can i be completely honest <laughs> can i be like completely honest with you paul number three um i'm being drawn to a youtube tarot reader um I believe her channel name is, is it Stella Beauty Tarot? Is it Stella Beauty? You know, that's all I can think about. <laughs> Something about that may be significant. Um, roses may be significant as well. She's a very beautiful tarot reader, by the way. If you haven't heard about her, check her out.
it's a vibe um some of you are in a really calming energy more so like very serene is what i'm hearing Ooh, i'll just hit the light um some of y'all are really in tune with fire as well it it seems like this individual's hair is on fire so it really gives like maybe your hair looks like fire um some of you here are leos here leo ascendant leo sun moon or you know ascendant rising energy or leo is just highly significant for you the card itself says openness liberation let your, yourself love and be loved expanded heart some of you are being asked by your spirit guides to open up a little bit more in the essence of let yourself be seen let yourself be loved you know as you love you know like some of you have walls up towards this energy like you would love others but wouldn't want them to love you back you know i feel like right now your spirit guides are wanting you to maybe even release some type of boundaries that you have up when it comes to receiving love from certain individuals <sighs> only certain people okay i'm not gonna say let down all your boundaries no don't do that just certain ones you know make it a little bit lighter for somebody to come up to you and say hello <laughs> i don't know maybe that's what it is i'm not sure but you do have a heart that's connected with love is what i'm getting even with this amazonite here um i always get this energy of a shine because even this is amazonite right here there's this like certain frequency that comes off of it that when the light hits it just right it has this certain shine to it yeah and it's like I feel like that resonates with your energy like uh, when the light hits you just right is when you open up you know I definitely do get this blooming energy some of you also resonate with um um there are certain flowers that only bloom in certain climates and certain specific temperatures specific you know energies <laughs> and i feel like that might resonate with you maybe you only bloom in certain energies certain vibrations you know and things of that nature maybe you only open up in certain places times and situations but your guys are asking you to um be more in connection with this liberated energy for yourself okay let yourself love and be loved within this energy so I do have channel messages as well for you, pile number three, and we're definitely going to connect with those energies. Um, some of you are also being asked to meditate with some form of candle. Lighting a candle here is also something that I'm hearing that may be significant. This card also reminds me of the sun, so the sun may be significant as well. A very like um, warming energy that I feel from you, pile number three. Maybe this is something that others feel when in your energy as well. This is why it's very beneficial for you to let yourself be loved because people genuinely love you here, pile number three. Maybe this is something that you haven't set up for yourself of allowing people to show how much they love you, show how much they care for you. I'm not sure. This is just something that I'm hearing here, okay? Um oh yes thank you spirit they was like you cannot go into those channel messages until you pull a card um i've been pulling a card from here for each pile sometimes definitely two have come out but i'm gonna see what comes through from your spirit guides offerings may be significant give the guides and ancestors a sign of trust and faith so you may be called to give some type of offering here pile number three it's currently three four five on the clock so if you genuinely have felt called to give an offering or um, something, maybe venerating to your ancestors, your spirit guides, to show that you do have faith and trust within their energies. Uh, <laughs> only want one. Uh, I, mean, I put two up, so it's interesting. Um, portals are around. There are choices for you to either transform or become stagnant. So maybe this is also something now, like maybe... There's an energy here for you, pile number three, where 
you opening up your energy right now, you allowing yourself to be seen can really transform your life. OK, um, it can allow you to go through some type of portal when you do open up here in some type of way when you allow yourself to be loved. If you feel like it, OK, I'm not here to put you outside of your comfort zone. If you really feel as though you need to be in solitude, that's definitely something that you should connect with here and be within that energy. But those of you that want to be seen, you know, feel as though your energy needs to be seen. Let yourself be loved in some type of way, okay? These are so many cards. We're going to look at them. That came through in another pile here, okay? Um, Environmental cleanse. Cleansing something here. I'm really drawn to this heat plate energy, okay? Some of you are cooking something or... um uh you have something on the stove right now that benefits the energy in the air so something like that may be significant i know people do that they put water in a pot with like some herbs or something like that maybe even honey droplets things of that nature um cinnamon on the stove something like that may be significant for you here as well um energy this came through in another reading as well energy cannot be hidden only masked as something different look at the moon interesting some of you are coming from another pile do not let the illusions deter you from your truth here okay so i'm gonna keep those here then your prophecies you are witnessing are real and affect your surroundings let's see i mean that's one card so it's not like i gotta go any further genuinely pile number three there are portals around and there are choices for you to either transform or become stagnant. So that's very important for your energy. There's definitely expansion and expanding energy happening within your heart. And I feel like this can also benefit others when you do decide to let yourself be loved. But let's go ahead and see. Let's see. Pile number three for your channel messages. Yeah, I can go ahead and show you because this whole page is full of you. Okay. These are your channel messages here. Listen to subliminals. Okay. We have frequency and vibration as well. So subliminals could really be significant. Maybe even money subliminals, healing subliminals. Um, I'm hearing throat chakra subliminals because we do have throat chakra here that's written down. Um, oh my God, Patron is here. So drinking maybe. Oh, no way. We said something about offerings, didn't we? We have Patron, liquor, and offerings. So some of your spirit guys here maybe even your ancestors are asking for some type of um offering in regards to liquor okay you all would know which one is best okay this could be a gin here possibly some type of gin liquor wisdom beyond your years this is something that you have here pawn number three you are connected with wisdom beyond your years you are a warrior fighting your own truth shine baby shine this is something that your spirit guys want you to do like literally shine baby shine 978 seems to be a significant angel number let's look into it because we can 978 oh. It's a time of new beginnings and fresh opportunities in your life, but only if you take positive actions forward. Remember, it's a reminder as well to love yourself first before seeking love from others. So maybe that's another thing for some of you before you even get a chance to let yourself be loved by others. <clears throat> let yourself be loved by yourself. Love yourself, you know, um, go out and get that meal that you've always wanted you know go and s take yourself out to eat things of that nature you know um we also have glow up readings so you may have <laughs> you may have been reading or um that's interesting you may have been doing your own glow up readings like about your own glow up like how will your glow up look for you or the these type of readings can be significant for you um Something is a simple execution, like some of you are actually thinking too hard about something where it's really simple. Something is genuinely very simple. <laughs> um, something about Mario and Sonic as well. Um, those energies may be significant for you. Something about a competition here. Some of you as well are delving into sanctuary, some type of healing energy. Excuse me. Um... A healing force guides you to victory here as well, pawn number three. So please don't forget that. 
some of you are also into woodsmanship um lumberjack energy spongebob or something that reminds you of your childhood as well maybe significant poem number three visual and auditory experiences could be happening for you here global recognition is coming through as well during meditation some of you tran what traverse the stars very interesting maybe doing this could really benefit your energy as you meditate um visualize yourself traversing the stars here oh my god we have a whole nother page of channel messages for you poem number three um some of you have to revise some work or you're doing that right now as in revising some of your work notice your um feelings in the current situation right now like pay attention to how you feel some of you as well may have just went grocery shopping or this is something that you look forward to doing something about a kia a mercedes-benz maybe even amg is what i'm hearing um and a ford explorer <laughs> I don't know why I'm hearing XLT. So crazy. Um, car club. Okay. Um, finding your spot in the world. This is something that is happening right now. Like through you loving yourself and letting yourself be loved. Confirmation here. You're allowing yourself to find your spot in the world or even allowing others to see who you are. Because don't mask your energy here in pile number three. Don't mask your energy. Don't be someone that you're not. Be yourself. Something about a Honda, a Dodge Challenger as well, like a Honda Civic, Honda Accord is what I'm hearing as well. Um, practicing your gifts, okay, your gifts as in your psychic and intuitive gifts here to bring some form of liberation. That's so crazy because like liberation is right here on the card to bring some type of liberation within your energy. Um, I started to draw a heart with wings and a halo, so I feel like that may be significant a heart with wings and a halo so it's funny how we're talking about your expanded heart your heart is just your heart chakra as well is raising in vibration something about pinto beans lima beans and black beans pile number three it says the inner work you have been doing is showing in your actions and your physical appearance love is looking good and someone has interest in you pile number three good energy <laughs> these are things that your spirit guides want you to know i really like that last part the inner work you have been doing is showing in your actions and your physical appearance love is looking good and someone has interest in you so let us see <laughs> let us see what do your spirit guides want you to know pile number three i'm actually drawn here so we're gonna go here um, uh, sure, let's go here. In here. This should be interesting. I'm going to use this um, Psychic Tarot Oracle deck here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And we're going to see what comes through for you in terms of all that's already going on within your energy. Pile number three big liberation vibes though i love that freedom here openness allowing yourself to be seen loving yourself portals that allow you to transform and things of that nature what does pile number three's spirit guys want them to know right now spirit what messages do they need to know okay first card we have is financial and material changes here this is the five of pentacles energy Hmm. having your hands in multiple things maybe another energy patience here may be significant as well some of you are being patient on um receiving some type of payout when it comes to monetary gain here movement choices and decisions on the split hmm 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 a lot of options i mean a lot of options movement choices and decisions a lot of decisions a lot of choices i mean you can tell just by the energies here and then you needing to have patience for something hmm, partnerships and alliances here let's see let's see let's see 
What do your spirit guys want you to know right now? Pile number three. What messages do they want you to know? The sun here. Everything's gonna be okay in your energy, pile number three. Everything's gonna be perfectly fine, okay? And it's very interesting because portals are around, right? And there are choices for you to either transform or what I'm hearing is stay stagnant. So some of you are already within this energy of um, maybe even feeling financial. I'm hearing financial burdens, but there's an energy here of you releasing this energy to your guides here because they are here to receive and transmute this energy because that's what this individual really looks like is doing here. She's allowing some type of energy to be released off of her shoulders to her guides. I feel like this is also a form of portal for your energy. You trusting and having faith that your guides and your ancestors, your spirit animals even will be able to help you transmute certain energies here that make that maybe make you feel a sense of lack or stagnancy here. Look at this victory and success. I feel like with this energy, your guys are letting me know that through your next movements, your next choices, maybe even your next decisions, you will have victory and success within this energy. And you also will come across this energy of um, recognition from others is what I'm hearing. So I'm going to keep these energies. And look at this. We have firm foundation as well up under that. And I mean, like some of you as well um, will come into this energy after suffering in silence. Like this is that energy of openness, liberation here, letting yourself be loved as well as loving yourself. You know, some of you also are like coming out the closet in a sense, um, just letting your light be seen, you know. So I'm going to go ahead and put this up. Let's see what else your spirit guides want you to know here i was feeling this deck here see what comes through for you hmm. on the split we have equal mastery you are on a spiritual journey beyond the sky let go of the past and soar you are guided by the wings of spirit here i love these neutral tones something about constellations are significant as well pawn number three certain constellations are um working within your energy Oh, we got to see now. I got to go into this other deck. So let's see what it is that your spirit guys that I came click. Spirit guys want you to know. Grace here. Wow. And this one over here with the portal energy, you know, where it comes to choices, energy, you know, it says you who glides across the waters of my soul, bring me your wisdom and light. This is you communicating with your guys here. OK, help me transform into elegance and grace. Inspire me with the dignity and the spirit of beauty. I feel like these are things that could also work as affirmations as you are releasing some type of energy that's not allowing you to feel as though you can move forward independent energy here as well you are a natural healer paw number three your intuition is strong you don't have to go with the crowd no man <laughs> life supports you in every way okay swans may really be significant here a very graceful energy as well as whatever flower this may be i have no clue but i feel like it may be significant so let's see, can I get one more? Maybe two. So what is it that the spirit guys want my pawn number threes to know right now? Humming may be significant. Okay, we have two cards to come through. We have power with a grizzly bear. I am indestructible. I honor my intuition and go where it leads. This is that energy. I feel like I said something about you having strong intuition. Where did that go? <laughs> Oh, the independent energy. Your intuition is strong. That was the cat. Okay. So cats, grizzly bears, those energies may be significant, but you need to honor your intuition here. Okay. And go where it leads. Paul number three, love and gentleness are your real strength. You should never give up and understand that you will succeed. Okay. You have the sun as a um, backup is what I'm hearing. This is something that your spirit guys want you to know. And your other card is literally cat. As I'm saying something about it. Something about the many chirps that a bird can make, maybe even the little 
like <laughs> type things that cats make maybe that's significant here i'm not sure that's just what i'm hearing like the little cute noises that cats make something about that is significant and then eagle is at the bottom of the deck again hmm your wisdom inspires the world here Paul number three this is why your light um your love needs to be seen you need to let yourself be seen in some type of way this should feel as though it's an adventure here it's just dare to do things differently this is the orca whale sing your wild song this is you letting your light be shown here manifest your travel dreams i was getting that energy attempt the great journey with confidence be loyal friends and family are your treasures so some of you here definitely value your relationships value your value your connections be brave you are more powerful than you know this is a big energy you even have the grizzly bear with power so i feel like this is significant mm, some of you are also i guess going through an energy of regeneration here this is something that i'm hearing they want you to embrace your transformation this energy so i'm gonna put this up Whew. and go into the next deck that i felt called for you call number three oh, i haven't went into those decks in a minute i might go into one of them i think i will let's go into this first i'm definitely wanting to get some tarot for you as well this kind of counts as tarot but not necessarily in my books you know oh okay oh we have the series of star blessings and this card wants to kind of come out it says yes proceed be seen push through look you can't make it up they want you to be seen Look at that, right up under that, the violet flame energy, karmic release, radical transformation, embrace your transformation here. What is this card? Orion activation, I believe, uh, maybe not. Supernova, recreation, renewal, rebirth by light here. Orion may even be a very significant um, constellation. I believe Sirius and Orion are like right up within the same spot in the sky. So this, this energy may really be significant for you. You're undergoing like a big transformation that's literally seeming as if you are a supernova. From this energy of you transforming and allowing yourself to be seen and be loved, you're going to come across more things than what you ever thought that you'd come across here. Okay, there's going to be a well better outcome than what you expected. This is what I'm hearing from your spirit guides. But you really have been through this energy of radical transformation, radically transforming even your own energy. And look at this. It says divine support. So you have the support of the divine, of even your spirit guides as well. Angelic attunement, voice activation energy. This is really good. Even thought is coming through here for you. Very beautiful. Light initiation. Great teacher awakening. Divine magic. Uh, uh. Who are you? <laughs> Why have you been hidden this whole time? Why are you just now coming out? No, I'm playing. Everybody got their reasons, you know? But I can see that you are now allowing yourself to be embraced by light. Okay? Your heart chakra is opening here, literally. Expanded heart. Unlocking. Being more generous with even your own energy is what I'm hearing. Because you're a blessing to the world, Pal 3. You are literally a blessing to the world. So let's see. Hmm. Pile number one may be significant. This is the card that I was seeing. That's so crazy. And this is on the split. It says when the weavers built the sun. Like this energy was so important. Like I kept seeing it in my mind's eye. So I'm just going to keep it like that. I don't even feel like I have to shuffle. Spirit God said I don't have to. So we're just going to leave it like that. I'm going to read that from the... um book as well but i want to get some tarot cards for you oh yeah we're doing great we're doing excellent um tarot cards for pile number three we're gonna go the owls here because it seems as though animals seem like so significant and i actually want that to go there for right now as we collect okay the king of pentacles seems to really be significant 
Taurus energy is what I'm hearing. Capricorn as well as Virgo here. I just saw the Four of Cups. So some of you may even be within this boredom energy. So where all you have to do is step out. And there's this energy of life for you. As well that the guides have been giving you messages, signs, and things of that nature. On you letting yourself be loved. Queen of Swords energy. They not say something about you undergoing radical transformation. Like it feels like you've already been through these energies. You're very perceptive of like the world around you. Again, like I'm hearing that you don't play. Okay, so maybe even you've had experiences where certain people have maybe misinterpreted your energy when you did shine your light. But don't let that um, discourage you. Is what I'm hearing. We have the King of Cups. Okay very mastered within your own emotions here okay you even know how to take action when it comes to your um, emotions not in like a you're emotionally driven no that's not what really i'm getting with this king of cups here it's like you don't um sway if something was to affect your emotions here but you are in connection with that energy i don't know why i'm being drawn to a red butterfly i don't think i've ever really seen that a red butterfly Maybe you've seen something like that here. Okay, we're here. <laughs> Look at that the wheel of fortune at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. And then we have the fool as well as the page of cups. Yeah, definitely. These are energies of with the page of cups and the fool. Again, this energy that you have been receiving messages from source, um, your spirit guides, um, the divine letting you know to take this leap of faith towards what it is that you want here because you've got the power you inspire others with the dignity and the spirit of beauty within your energy something about also packing light when you do travel okay those are for those that are going to be traveling soon packing light may be significant for you okay this is what your spirit guys want you to know you may even like get more things while you were out as well yeah keep the faith here palm number three don't be too over analytical is also something that i'm hearing follow your intuition i knew it i knew it we have the empress right up under it and this gives the energy here like you're very abundant very in tune with your own like um masculine and feminine energies most definitely because that king of cups gave a masculine intuitive energy here like you know how to take and be even protected of even your own emotions but with this empress here is as if you're like she <laughs> this owl is literally sitting with gems in its bed so i'm getting that you sleep with gems or sleeping with crystals could really be significant for your energy crowned with such a beautiful success okay red could even really be significant for you venus energy and it's funny how we have this three of pentacles with working together energy um teamwork but you have this independent card here i feel like you're also being asked to um be more open with your spirit guides so that they can work with you here maybe even being more open to help more open to support for your light for your victory and your successes something about how you can't do it alone is also something that i'm getting here okay you're gonna always have some type of support system with you rely or have faith within this energy okay i'm gonna read this here from the book when the reavers built the sun because as you can see it's more than one individual bringing this together okay so let's see, pile number three. Um, <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Um, 40 here. All right, when the weavers built the sun here, it says the essential meaning of this energy, the value of dreaming big success at seemingly impossible tasks look at that legend has it that when the dream weavers built the sun they created a huge ball of fire so they could see all the miraculous things they wove into being they needed light 
and more life force energy to flood our world so life could grow and flourish. Their big dream didn't exist before they imagined what it could be. They made it up as they went along. With no plans to follow nor certainty about how to do it, they claimed it energetically and followed the prompts of the conscious universe, their partner. Isn't that crazy? That's what that Three of Pentacles was given, partner energy. They made an impossible thing real. In some type of way, pile number three, you're going to be making an impossible thing real. Right now, you are in a similar place. <laughs> you have a big dream, but you don't have the how yet. Sometimes you question whether it's even possible and wonder if it's not meant to happen at all. Looking at the chaos in the world, you wonder if it's selfish to feel that you deserve any of your desires. You do. Don't. Do not question or deny yourself of the things that you know you deserve. Do not give up on your dreams. Something unique that will serve the greater good wants you to call it to life here, okay? You were given this idea as a gift from the divine, and it's your mission to forge a new path to bring it here. If you knew the how of it, it would mean that you're not dreaming big enough. Whatever your dream, we need you to begin now. It's time to act. Hold the vision of success, but not too tight, and lean into this greatness. This is that the full energy. Leaning. This is a new beginning here as well. This is also emphasis on that you taking action now so that you don't stay within this stagnant energy. Okay, this is a portal here. Just think of how many you will touch by this action. See? Trust that you were made for this. Step forward and keep walking one step at a time. And the universe will open the doors one by one. I believe another pile may have been significant for you, but you definitely are in connection with like Archangel Michael as well. You're opening up many doors within even your own energy through just one step forward within you opening up, expanding your heart. <laughs> very beautiful i believe that's all that we have for you though pile number three i hope that you enjoy okay be sure to give the video a like comment share or subscribe if you feel so called to um i love you dearly genuinely okay know that in these next endeavors that you take you're going to be connected with a very abundant energy with this wheel of fortune and the empress here okay big shifts divine timing energy as well this is adventurous too so it's like big new adventurous energy sing your wild song here upon number three because you have a light that is literally meant to be seen by the world okay be seen push through this is a time of blessings here for you victory and success are assured so i will see you around Hey, pile number four, if you have chosen this Gaia card or this African turquoise crystal here, then this is your reading for what <laughs> do the spirit guides want you to know right now? What messages do they have for you? Um, I'm being drawn to Shungite, um, the crystal Shungite. I feel like that may be significant for your energy working with that crystal okay um i was really hearing a lot of like miraculous energy i do have channel messages here for you and on the channel messages it says good luck and prosperity so there's big energies of that even within the card itself the card says resilient spirit earth connection stay rooted in trust and faith there's a big energy here I'm getting that um, for some of you here in pile number four, your faith and trust had been tested. Like it had been, you know, like somebody attempted to push your buttons when it came to your faith and your trust within maybe even Gaia here, um, your belief system, things like that, your connection with the earth, you know, um, but you are a very resilient spirit here like you know what's meant for you you know how to get through a certain energy even if it seems as though you know you can't but like you still do like you're very resilient like you're definitely a warrior anything can happen to you and you still come up beautifully like it definitely gives guy a spirit you know 
many of things have happened and look at her she's still alive today you know beautiful love you Gaia um but let's look because I have channel messages and I feel like there's also this energy of someone here washing their hair because look at how there's water coming from like the hair of this divine feminine energy here some of you also are um or have this darker complexion Africa as well maybe very significant okay because this is an African turquoise Ooh, I was doing all that shaking. Let me not. Um, there's emphasis on mountains as well, like the mountain top reaching the sky. Maybe even Mount Everest may be significant. Some of you are so beautiful, and I mean, like, people see this energy about you, and it's very muse-like. Okay, it's almost as if they can't get enough of just your looks, your beauty, um what you can what you work with how you move you know the way that you walk things of that nature um it comes off as you being very rooted within even your own energies you know rooted within your own faith your own beliefs it's very beautiful to see and it's working for you you know you're aligned in many energies is what i'm getting but yeah some of you are just being asked to from your spirit guys enjoy the present moment is what i'm hearing stay rooted in your trust and your faith you have a connection with earth here okay or this is something that your spirit guides want you to do get more connected with earth in some type of way but let me go ahead and get into your channel messages here this page actually is full of your messages and i believe this page is too yeah so you guys can see that energy um Something about runes research may be significant for you. Pile number four, getting into runes. Maybe I might. Oh, oh no, 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 no. I almost forgot. That's crazy. I'm actually going to pull runes for you as well. Only going to get like two or three and then get a message from that. But before we get into channel messages, I actually want to get some messages from here. Like just one card before I go into your channel messages here. Pile number four. I hope you all are doing well whenever you come across this reading staying i mean it seems like it that you're staying within your your faith like it really feels good like, like good energy hmm. <laughs> i ask for one and they always give me more yeah i've been feeling these energies it says, if ever a feeling of regret, know all things happen for a reason and are your fears stopping you from experiencing something new? Okay, this is for someone here, not all of you. I feel that energy. But for all of you, there's definitely an abundance in energy here within something. For some of you, it's your fears overpowering something that you want to do that's new. And others of you, it's a feeling of regret to where you have to know that all things happen for a reason here okay so understand these energies all right i'm gonna put this one back because i feel called to but you have an abundance in energy right now whatever type of energy this may be but know that all things happen for a reason this is what your spirit guides want you to know even they want you to know that you have ancestral protection here you are being divinely guided to create something here. So stay focused and have trust and faith in even your own spirit, guys. You have a very resilient spirit. We are all here to make sure you progress smoothly. So you're not alone. This is what your spirit guides want you to know here, poem number four. Even though you already are within this resilient spirit energy, it's almost as if um, I'm hearing that sometimes your spirit guides have to keep up with you because of how much energy you've been putting into some type of project or something of that nature let me get some runes because it definitely came through in your channel messages these are um labradorite chips as well so labradorite may be significant for you okay we have we have two of them that's ironic in some type of way there's like no movement within your energy <laughs> there's an abundance of energy coming in but then there's like no movement maybe because some of you have regret within something look at this this is the empty room normally i don't really classify it as a room but this is the universe here okay like there's really it's really saying that in some type of way also 
pile number four you have the answer to some type of situation within your energy okay to the point where it gave a blank room or the fact that the universe is at play within this energy okay but seeing how this movement rune okay this is the rune of movement which is ironic because we spoke of this rune in i believe pile number three so the previous pile may be significant for you um that could also more resonate with someone here the previous pile pile number three but this i'm just gonna put it up right here as well just because that's how it is but this also speaks about the companionship between two individuals this rune here at the top two energies coming together for a greater purpose um Hmm. and you do have earth connections so you may even be working with gaia here quite literally working with the earth and there may be an abundance of energy coming into gaia's field that maybe there's something about you being able to work with this energy Paul number four this is what i'm hearing but let's go ahead and tap into your guided guided Psst, that's how you know uh <laughs> let's tap into your uh channel messages Okay, runes research. You may be doing that. We're getting into it, all right? We have third eye awakening here. You are getting into some deeper understanding of the world. Okay. And that may be significant for you. I also have here bloodline. So your bloodline may be significant. Okay or something within your bloodline. I also have here Domino's Pizza. <laughs> um, something about a basement party as well. Being in your own lane. So something about you being in your own lane is significant here, Paul number four. Um, there's also emphasis on 777, all right, as a channel message. Luck is within your energy as well. I'm also hearing like, um, divine enlightenment divine initiation divine awakening you are receiving and integrating the energies given to you very well so if there's some of you here in pond number four that are actively working within um energy work here you are receiving and integrating the energies given to you very well by um your guides by gaia here through this connection that you have with earth um, you are a high ranking spiritual master here, or this is something that you are integrating within your energy and something about the angel number 10, 10. Okay. It's crazy how an angel number came through for each pile. And I mean, like, it seems like exactly one. 10, 10 is an angel number that is encouraging you to trust that you are creating at an accelerated pace and that's interesting because we did see and that's confirmation we did see that you are being divinely guided to create okay the ancestors around you will make sure that this will progress smoothly here 1010 is also an angel number saying to be careful and deliberate or de what so be careful and deliberate about what you set out to manifest this number sequence also encourages you to tap into your intuitive abilities pile number four everyone is intuitive including you all right everybody everybody has a sense of intuition about their next steps forward or whatever energies there may be there is emphasis on peace and quiet as well pile number four laying on the couch or in the bed a chill vibe that's also what i was getting from this energy like it just feels very serene um nothing normal about me Ooh, period so somebody here genuinely resonates with the energy of having nothing normal about themselves they embrace every quality that is different because that is what makes them uniquely them okay so i feel like that may be significant monetary value increasing here for pile number four i love to see it this is what your spirit guys want you to know as above so below here the lumerians have a message for you okay so we're going to go into that deck um as well as Bastet or Bost may be significant for you. You may be working with these energies. Um, skin care seems to be significant. Ointment or some form of anointment here 
may have been drawn to another pile as well yep look at that getting crowned and recognized for your hard work here pile number four something about dr strange um new tattoos you may have been getting these energies or you already have one and here's grace playing with this toy um selling jewelry some of you here are selling jewelry maybe only on an etsy shop or something of the sort um i have here cooking for the family as well like in some type of way cooking is a passion for you like you love to cook um cooking and maybe even healing for you i also have here 666 very interesting something is coming into harmony and balance within your energy pile number four i also have here cosmic ordering so something is coming into like I'm also hearing cosmic awareness. Something is coming into balance, alignment here, divine alignment. The cosmos is going to balance out a situation here as well within your energy. You are the cosmos. So remember that, okay, that seems to be significant. Andromedan guides. This is interesting. So you may have been really drawn to maybe even a few different piles or even just one. You may have watched all the way through. Um, but you have Andromedan guides here. Okay, pile number four like spirit guides from andromeda here giving you high vibrational energy it says intergalactic support for integration of higher frequencies of knowledge and i mean like it's a channel message here <laughs> clear crystals may be significant for you attuning to downloads um something about the earth shaking here as well maybe even earthquakes but something about the earth shaking and it's funny because we have gaia as your um title card so that was channel messages here okay even in some type of way like what's kind of ironic is some of you here kind of give the vibe of dr strange i mean like in the sense of the way that he worked with his own energy you know i don't even know too much of dr strange but i know a little let's go ahead and tap in though i did say i want to go into a deck for you let's look at time here we're doing great yeah, definitely big on the downloads coming in or are you integrating some type of energy for yourself. Um, I did say the Lumerians wanted to say something here. Ah, oh, yes. I want to go into this deck so bad. What is it, Grace? You sat here and playing with toys while I'm working, sending vibrations and stuff. And you don't care. <laughs> she just continued to do what she gonna do. She's enjoying herself. Travel may be significant here. And then the way of pearls. Hmm. Inner and outer journeys. Believe in yourself here. Big shifts. You're undergoing big shifts here. And it's funny how I said Lumeria was significant. And then or the Lumerians have a message for you. On this little tablet here, it says Lumeria. She's literally having a ball over there. That's so cute. Bottom of the deck, we have creation. Wow. Unique expression. Look at that. You have a very unique energy, pile number four. The flow of creation within you is just so beautiful. Like, you bring about joyfulness as well. There's emphasis on submerging your body within water here, okay? I feel like this can also bring about some form of um new energy and it's funny because we have trust here and it says stay rooted in trust and faith this is a time of growth you're undergoing big shifts inner and outer journeys within your energy believe in yourself okay you may even be called to make space for yourself you know like um a sacred space some type of liminal space where you can actually connect with your energies because you're in a vibration of creation right now um you uniquely creating certain things and look at this sacred mountain clarity and truth shambhala here deep healing this is something that i feel as though you were undergoing here this is something that your spirit guides want you to know about too golly you're undergoing big shifts and i mean like both inner and outer this could also be reflected like and how you approach with your energy you may even want to work with pearls here. They could probably bring, bring about a really good energy for you. Real pearls, okay? And I mean like pearls that have a grit. <laughs> like you got to put them up to your teeth type so you can test it. That may be significant. Um, 
Let's see though. Let's see what other messages we can get for you for what your spirit guides want you to know here, poem number four. Definitely want to go into tarot, but I want it to be the right one. I want it to be one that I feel as though can really bring about a message here. Let's see. Let's go Ted. See what it is that your spirit guides want you to know here. I'm actually drawn to another deck that has Lumerian energies within it, but I'm mm, not sure if we're going to do that or not. Let's see here. Look, oh, I didn't even get a chance to say what I have to say, Spirit. That's so ironic, too. These are the same cards that I just saw. <clears throat> and this Eight of Cups in reverse right here, almost like not wanting to walk away from something. And I was just saying about no movement with this in reverse. What is it that your spirit guys want you to know right now? Maybe some of you have regrets for not walking away from a certain energy any sooner. I just saw the Queen of Cups. And here's the Ace of Cups. And the Nine of Cups. Hello. This is interesting. Yeah, I'm hearing some of you um, don't want to let something leave your energy all due to like something here. I don't know, but you're being called to like jump out of something, have trust and faith in something, stay rooted in your trust and your faith to experience some form of new beginning within an energy. Maybe some of you here are being asked to walk away from like genuinely just something that probably gave you a feeling of attachment a feeling of um emotional attachment what was in them channel messages because now i'm curious third eye awakening here basement party hello <clears throat> whatever this energy is that you're receiving here is creating a big overflow within your energy pile number four I feel like I may have said this as well in another pile, but that energy is definitely coming through. And you see we have the Eight of Swords here as well. Some of you may be within your mind about something, about a, taking a leap of faith on something here. Walking away from a certain energy. The way that shot out was crazy. We have Judgment here at the bottom of the deck. A rebirth energy. This is Pluto here as well. Nine of Wands resilient and then went over here with the resilient spirit as well this, <laughs> this is so funny this is somebody's message somebody here is uh in pile number four is being a little bit stubborn as well they're like almost not wanting to shift up a, an energy here but know that where some of you are right now like you're here for a reason all right you're in this energy of like attuning to a wish fulfillment through rebirth and release all right that's what i'm getting here and some type of way this would bring you into like i'm hearing financial stability in whatever way possible that may be but stability within even your own energy a sense of maturity within your own earthly connections here on the split five of pentacles exactly some of you may even be feeling lack here as well king of swords getting more in your mind here getting more of in your head space and as well as your heart space here connecting more with your mind and your heart interesting energies let's go ahead and put this to the side and go into this other little mirror oh and then i want to go here yeah bottom of the deck we have crown chakra the unlimited self heart chakra unfurling back to love that's literally your mind and your heart that just came through the crown chakra and your heart chakra getting both of those energies in alignment here may be significant for what it is that your spirit guys want you to know there's a big energy on self-love as well like do you see how each one of these are cup energies very emotional very water-like energy 
very intuitive here okay it's almost as if you really do understand the energies of what's needed to come but maybe you're being very resilient within some type of inner or outer shift for yourself you're a star seer bottom of the deck for your own ancient future it's like you're receiving messages from your guides letting you know that you're about to evolve in some type of way i'm really being drawn to this energy what it says from the book something about nosebleeds is what i'm hearing some of you may be experiencing nose bleeding here radiant illumination here solar plexus chakra we also have realm blit <laughs> i almost said blidger realm bridger there's definitely emphasis on tattoos here as well let me see let me see let me see let me see, let me see, let me see. Let's look into what, oh, let's put this over here, actually. I want to see what energies are coming through here, because it seems as though, even with this energy, you're being guided to level up in some type of way. You're being guided to shift even your own energy. I guess take those next steps forward. Some of you wear a lot of bangles or like crystals on your wrist and things of that nature. They are very effective is what I'm hearing. I want to look into that. Almost went straight to it. Excuse me. Okay. Um, this card is imbued with activations for a new paradigm. Look at that. You are now being showered with blessings in preparation for a transformation. It may be turbulent at times, but you will grow and heal through the coming journey. Partake in activities that help you drop into a meditative state as often as possible. That's what I was getting with this energy of Gaia. Like, stay rooted within your trust and your faith, even your connection with Gaia. Like, find time or spaces where you can be liminal, where you can be balanced at peace. Use clearing tools to raise your vibration and don't get caught up on the destination here. Focus on the journey and experience. You can navigate a situation you have no experience with by being truly present. Integrity and intuition will be your guide. And this is how you get through certain energies here. Okay. Very beautiful. They also have some key words here saying, oh my goodness, did we? I'm going to be mind blown yes oh my god wow my nose is itching so it says wisdom from indigenous people so you may be really connecting with um different indigenous people here on earth here just connecting with people okay ancestors holding the keys for the future so your ancestors are definitely present within this reading as well paul number four ancient remembering you're remembering something like as an ancient vibration so you're connected with the ancients here pile number four even the ancient um spirits that roam the earth here like even the high vibrational ones you're connected with those energies and they also have something to literally do with your bloodlines and i said that in the channel messages and it's here with this card so your bloodline is literally having some type of energy with it how the past affects the future a time to step up i'm also being drawn to 16 17 here which may be a significant sequence for you um timeless power symbols so you may be working with certain symbols maybe like again runes activations for powerful shifts and i mean it says it here on the travel card inner and outer journeys believe in yourself big shifts and you can't make it up like <laughs> i'm also hearing that there are subtle codes around you right now that if you meditate and connect with the energy around you um they will come towards you here I'm hearing that it is a time for expansion. You can be as big as your energy wants to be, but stop and consider anything that is holding you back. There is another card in this deck that gives you permission to slip, or that is a permission slip that allows you to let go of limiting stories and take up all the space that you need. It is currently 444 on the clock right now, which may be significant for you. Have fun unleashing who you are. As bold and radical as some of your ideas or offerings might be, who is to say they are not what the world is waiting for, what the world wants? Take note of any judgment or authentic expression towards yourself or others. 
be mindful that creativity, exploring, unrefined expression may be what is needed right now. Remembering to center yourself in your heart and be the masterpiece your soul always wanted you to be. So this is great. It's like your own chiseling at your own energy allowing certain things that do not deserve to be there to fall away you know and i feel like that's also what this eight of cups energy is giving but some of you have been resilient so let's go ahead and tap in a little bit further see what else we can get so far it's looking excellent let's see what we can get here I really do get like there may be significance on I don't know what in the world. Um, Dr. Seuss may be significant. I'm literally seeing yellowfish, bluefish, redfish. I don't even know how it went, but you know, something like that may be significant. Okay. You may be studying on Dr. Seuss. Ooh. This card flew. We have seventh house relationships. That's kind of what I was getting with this having to walk away, or if you ever feel a feeling of regret no all things happen for a reason i wish i could show you this card is literally stuck in the wall oh. <laughs> it flew all the way over there so i feel like connecting with the roots within the ground may really be significant for you here or certain roots um again your family your ancient ancestors are definitely significant here i feel like they are a part of your community some of them are um um, what is it incarnate here and some of them are your friends is what I'm hearing as well some of your ancient ancestors your ancient guys here are incarnate here as well but there is emphasis on the community here because this is the card that shot all the way over <laughs> there may even be some form of um, I'm hearing a transformation within this energy some of you are I'm sorry to say it losing some friends while also gaining others maybe even just losing friends in general not to even put that energy there but that's what i'm hearing what do your spirit guys want you to know Paul number four journey look at that and didn't we just read something about it's not so much about the destination it's the journey and you're on the journey right now Paul number four okay and you're making progress within this energy i love to see this here it's not even about timing or um timing is not of the essence here within your energy because you're in a flow state being in a flow state seems to really be significant maybe even cultivating your own energy here with this taurus here hmm, some of you may resonate with taurus energy very stable even in even amidst tension like that's really what this energy is giving you're very resilient in a good way okay you're very rooted within your truth, who you are, and maybe this is undergoing a transformation and it may be hard to maybe shift within that energy. Here we have shine with Leo. Look at that. Even your guys want you to shine, cross pollinate, you know, um, what is that? I'm hearing. Oh, what is that? Uh, it's like when you go and talk to a whole bunch of different communities here or different um, companies. What is that called? Network. Uh, that's what that energy is. It's something about you networking with your energy. Like you networking maybe even with others here to get something to come through. Because this is a part of the journey. That's really what I'm getting here with this cross-pollinate in Leo. You can't make it up. We have collaborate. And Aquarius rules the 11th house. So it's like energies here aquarius energy may really be significant we even have the eighth house as well i'm just oh, why do i keep doing that that's weird ah uh, <laughs> what does that a rat a mouse i have to look at some spirit animals now because i'm confused some of you need to like uh be more resourceful this is something that your spirit guys want you to know right now be more resourceful with what is being given to you like pay more attention to uh literally what's being given it's funny how we have eight of cups ace of cups and nine of cups and then even within the eight of cups card there's usually a 
you know, a, a cup started out within the sky and that's guiding this individual away from these cups because it's going to fill them up more. And that's this nine of cups energy. So let's see. And it's funny because we even have this energy here, the water bear. I want to get something else for you all here. Dang, I can't remember. What was it? What was the deck that I was just about to use? What do your spirit guys want you to know here? Oh, I don't know how I was gonna slip up on it that fast. All right, an animal here. Crows may be significant for you. Here, cheetahs. Something about you being very quick-witted is what I'm hearing. I want to see what do your spirit guides want you to know right now? What do your spirit guides have for you as a message? Pound number four. A deer. Mm, and it came out so elegantly here. It is a very compassionate energy that I'm getting. And then we have lamb. Both of these seem so serene. They seem so calm, very nice, very simple. And they both are earth energies here. So grounding may really be significant for you. And then we have the camel. This was such very odd uh, animals to come through. Oh, and then we got the panther and the firefly. I'm getting that some people take your kindness for weakness here, pile number four. And the moment they think that and then something else happened afterwards and then it's just crazy. It's like people don't realize how powerful you are until they get a taste of your energy. Firefly with the wolf, like genuinely. And then the hawk. And then you see how the colors, they kind of match up here as well. You have a very strong connection with um your inner worth, your self-worth. Something about your determination as well. Look at all these very strong power animals here coming through. You have connections with all of these energies, okay? You can even call upon them to work with your energy. A bear, a hawk, a wolf, a panther, a firefly, quite literally, to bring in some light in your energy. Maybe even clarity amidst the darkness here. You have a deer and a lamb. You have a lot of knowledge in you here. And I feel like this is also why these um ancient ancestral energies are coming through for you we even have the nightingale like there's something about your voice the way you speak the things that you have said already that seems to be significant for what your spirit guys want you to know so let's see i'm gonna get all right some money and career cards and then i'm gonna go ahead and let you go we have direction at the bottom of the deck I'm seeing three, four, five on the timestamp, so that may be significant for you as well. Now I'm seeing three, four, five, six. Okay. It's so crazy because each one of these readings that I've done here today were at least ooh, 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 all the cards and fell were longer than 30 minutes. Something that you have is a bright idea. They want you to take action on your ideas here. I'll have to fix all these cards now. They fell on my lap. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Something's going to come and fall into your lap. Isn't that crazy? And you probably don't even expect it. And that's good. It's giving miracle energy. I'm seeing star power here. Something about you stepping into the spotlight. Oh, let's see. One of your creations is also going to be seen here. Is what I'm getting. Very beautiful energy. This card wants to come out. A gift. Wow. Use opportunities that arise. There's going to be an opportunity here that's going to allow you to be gifted something. I'm getting that with this Ace of Cups energy. You will discover new talents that will lead to new opportunities here, pile number four. So continue to stay rooted within your trust and your faith, even within when it comes to your own intuition here. Because look, there goes again, bright ideas. Have an innovation, an innovative new inspiration. Test new ideas and break out fast here. Because you have a mind that's very beautiful. Lead with your mind. Use your intelligence. Analyze data logic and think rationally. And they did not say something about your resources. Be grateful for what you have and save something for the future. Use wisely and as needed, pile number four. So, I mean, look, because you're about to have sweet success. I mean, I'm not making this up. Get what you want. 
It is not difficult to get everything you want and enjoy it and get what you want. This is so cool. Let's get one more and then I'm going to go ahead and let you go. What is it that pile number four needs to know right now, spirit? I need one more card, please. Thank you. We have here savings. Well, create savings for the future. It says you always need to put something off for a bad day. So that may be significant for someone here. Okay. Maybe even just pigs may be significant, but there is luck within your energy, most definitely. Because I believe we channeled 777 for you, and indeed we did. And then we have here wisdom. Use your best judgment. Insight into nature, into the nature of physical objects gives you foresight here. So you may be like someone that can really scry or um, look through some form of clear crystal ball or um, a black obsidian, you know. But you have a lot of um, talents within your eyes, and your mind is very powerful here. This is a gift. It takes you into directions to where you want to be here. Do not deviate from your path. Attract a mentor if necessary. Okay. And on another split, we have time to set higher goals. Okay. Reducing losses, elimination, and completing a new metamorphosis here. You're shedding an old you and coming into a new you. And I'm seeing four, five, six on the clock right now as I'm saying that. So I'm going to go ahead and bounce out. I hope that you enjoyed pile number four. Um, if you did, be sure to give the video a like, comment, share, subscribe if you feel so called to. I love you dearly. Okay. You are very much so protected. Use this brain power that you have here. Okay. And I'm seeing a lot of rainbow energy because it even came through on your starter card. Your vibrations are your vibrations, your chakra um systems your chakra centers they're raising in vibration here so connect with your energy okay shine your light take action on your ideas lead with your mind use opportunities that arise in your energy all right and know that all things happen for a reason even the opportunities that come your way okay don't be such a resilient spirit i love you though all right and i will see you around be like this bear